Hey everyone, welcome to another video and thanks for tuning in. This project is carved out of butternut wood, which I don't get a chance to carve much, so I really enjoyed it. There was quite a bit of extra prep work that needed to be done, so that took some additional time, but the carving portion itself took around 10 hours. There's really nothing technical with this carving, it's pretty straightforward. This video may be somewhat controversial to some, but that's okay. It is a direct reflection of who I am as a person and the lifestyle and values that I greatly cherish. I know there are many that agree and have the same love and passion about the great outdoors and hunting as I do. This video is not only for the carving community, but also for my fellow hunters out there as well. I believe that a lot of times the hunting community is greatly misunderstood. People outside of that culture see a taxidermy mount on the wall or see the joy after we harvest an animal and label us as killers with no compassion or remorse. I believe that is quite far from the truth. I can only speak on behalf of myself and my close circle of friends and family that share the same passion, but I'd say that our love for the animal and desire to see them flourish greatly outweighs our drive to harvest one. I do not hunt for the sole purpose of harvesting an animal. That is just the conclusion that must happen, the end result of a long journey. The journey is what keeps me coming back to the woods every fall. Just experiencing God's natural creation undisturbed in its purest form. We get so consumed by the race of life and at times take for granted our everyday comforts that we are so blessed with. When I step out into a black wilderness on a cold, crisp morning, I'm quickly humbled and it reminds me that life is fragile and we must recognize the moment and soak up all that we can. As I watch the animals I come across, from a squirrel all the way up to the white-tailed deer, I am honored to step into their world for a brief moment and have a glimpse of their life and what they experience every day. The hours spent target practicing and making sure all the necessary gear is in good order. The countless miles walked scouting, looking for that specific spot. Looking at deer sign and trying to learn how they live through the breadcrumbs that they leave behind. We spend all this time preparing to better ourselves, so when that one opportunity comes, we are ready for the moment. Taking an animal's life is not something I take lightly. It is our duty to be ready. We owe it to that animal to make sound and ethical decisions. 
to ensure that it is harvested in the most respected manner. But we as hunters are humans, and even when conditions are perfect, mistakes can still be made. We carry that burden with us when those times happen, and we strive to not replicate the same error again. The memories made with friends and family out in the woods is something greatly cherished. Whether it's those moments together on the hunt, or telling stories at the cabin, or around the campfire. Most times, hunting is a lone, solitary endeavor. Most hours in the tree are spent alone, reflecting on our own thoughts, and experiencing the joy of the woods to ourselves. We greatly desire, though, the opportunity to share those experiences and we together share the love of the hunt through others telling their stories. It is all of these reasons and more that draws me to the woods. The harvest is the main goal and the end of the journey, but there is so much more to the hunt than just the kill. The love and respect for the animal, the passion for the journey, the gratefulness for the opportunity and experience, these are the reasons that I hunt. This is the conclusion of a five-year journey. It took five years for me to be presented with an opportunity that I was fortunate enough to capitalize on. I've seen plenty of deer in my time in the woods, but nothing had come close to the respect that this mature buck demands. I was blessed to be able to harvest him back in the fall of 2021. It was an experience I will never forget. I just wanted to briefly talk about these plaques. So this one, these antlers are, are not the ones that is in the video with the, the harvest of 21. These antlers here, these are actually shed antlers that I found. And uh, this is the carving uh, topo map of where these sheds were found. 
it was on a little island off of the tip in a pretty pretty large um, tamarack swamp. This is just an example of a plaque that will be available on my Etsy page here shortly. Um, all you guys have to do is send me the coordinates to the location of your harvest and I can um, carve the plaque, the topo lines, according to your location. This here is just a custom carving that I did. Um, this is the location of where I shot my my buck in 2021. I think these plaques are kind of cool. It's a good way to to remember the hunt and remember the location of, of where you harvested your animal. So if, if these are something that interests you guys, make sure you let me know. Again, this plaque here will be available for custom orders on my Etsy page. All you guys have to do is let me know the, the coordinates to um, the harvest location um, and I can carve that according to to your hunting spot so just let me know there'll be more directions and instructions and things like that that will be posted within the the Etsy page listing so I appreciate everybody that has gotten this far in the video and um, as always make sure you guys share like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one